Stranger, this forest is cursed. A caution, my friend. If you're following this road, know that Delin's mill is lost. The land's turned against us. Spriggans and imps have overrun the mill. My family and I escaped, but the rest of the villagers weren't so lucky. I don't know. There might be a way to help the other villagers. A group of women showed up as we fled, threw spells around, and called themselves the Weird Sisters. They helped us escape. Maybe they know what's going on out there. I'm taking my family to Daggerfall. We'll be safer there. Shayor curse me, but I have no idea. Delon's mill is always focused on our work. We don't get involved in politics or feud with our neighbors. Of course, chopping down trees could make a Spriggan angry, I suppose. Well, not since I've lived in Delon's mill. Come to think of it, those strange vines that recently sprung up are new. I couldn't cut them even with my finest axe. You'll see them soon enough. They're especially thick up north. You can't miss them. They're all twisted and diseased looking. I'd suggest staying far away from those awful vines. They're nothing but trouble. Of that, I'm sure. Our friends and neighbors. They were trapped by the imps. There was nothing we could do but run for our lives. Thank you, my friend. You're certainly braver than I am. I'm sad to admit. Spirit of the weird weeps, for something drives her children mad. I fear for the innocents in this village. The forest is enraged, filled with hatred. We tried to calm it as we always have before, but our magic falters. Never have the elemental spirits refused to answer our calls. The grass, the trees, the very earth itself. They're dying. For now, our purpose is to defend the villagers from these creatures. I can construct a simple ward to protect the mill, but we are far from the weird tree. I shall require a focus. Take this creature, born and bound to the essence of Aetherius, and let it guide you to what I need. Hopefully, it will find enough to establish the ward. The weird tree, the spirit that gives life to this land. My sisters and I are Beldama weird. We serve the weird tree. We came here to discover why anger infests this part of the forest. No, and that worries me. The forest no longer speaks to us. We sensed that something was wrong, and that's why we came here. But beyond that, we are at a loss as to how to make things right. Let this torch bug fly where it will. Let it guide you to the essence of Aetherius. It will find the soil that is most pure and draw out what I need for my focus. one of the villagers. Who are you to nonchalantly walk through flames and forest? You smell of the city of stone. Have you come to cleave our forest? Rip up our soil? Haven't the spirits already been enraged enough by your kind? So you say. My sisters and I serve the Beldama Weird. We have a duty to uphold. You? I don't know your true intentions. Still, we could use the help of someone who isn't quite as attached to the forest as we are. You might prove useful after all. My sister Olina is still out there, probably trapped somewhere between the fires and the enraged forest creatures. The fires burn, our sister is missing, and the villagers are dying. Something needs to be done. Get everyone back here and we can keep them safe. For a while. 
In the meantime, we'll work on what to do next. And make sure you put those fires out. This building won't provide much protection if it burns to the ground. Isn't it obvious? The people of the City of Stone caused this. They have no regard for the natural world. Nature only bends so far before it begins to suffer. Then it reasserts itself. Nature always prevails. That's why the vines appear. The vines. They started appearing weeks ago, bursting through the soil and spreading throughout Glenumbra. We've never seen such vines before, and even the weird tree was engulfed by the strange growths. Whatever's happening, no one is safe. We are the witches of the weird. We serve the weird tree and the forest as our home. If this was Breton against Breton, we would not get involved. But something unnatural caused this. The forest has been wounded, and that concerns the Beldama weird. We stand apart, but we aren't heartless. No one deserves to die for something they haven't done. show up in the night, try to take everything from Mura. This one has worked hard to make friends, find people who would accept her. Mura will not allow these beasts to kill her friends. Do you speak the truth? Mura thought everyone was dead. Now you tell me good news, and hope fills this one's heart. Mura has heard tales of the witches who roam the West. Some good, some bad. This one will not turn down help, though, yes? Mura will find her way back to the mill. Just let one of those creatures get in this one's way! I was the last one left out here. Well, get up here and fight beside me. Today is a glorious day to die. Every last one of the damn things that got too close. Anur never gives up. 
and a Nord never backs down from a fight. I'll keep fighting and swinging my axe until my arm falls off. And then I'll find a way to fight some more. I'm not afraid to die, stranger. But I might as well do it while defending the village. Thanks for the help. I look forward to fighting at your side back at the mill. She, she can't be dead. No, no, no! Did my sister send you to aid us? May the mother spirits guide us. I tried so hard, but I wasn't able to save more than this single villager. I'll make sure we both get back to the mill. No! My beautiful daughter, please say something. You have to be all right. You have to be. We have to go. We can't stay here any longer. Your daughter's gone. We can't just leave her here like this. I have to say goodbye. Wait, what are you doing? What's happening? It's, uh, good you got here when you did. You were much more, uh, merciful than I was about to be to those creatures. Ha! Better than those imps after I get through with them. Um, assuming you didn't kill them already. You did kill them all, I mean, didn't you? The mill, of course. Well, if I do run into any hostile creatures along the way, they'll regret the day they decided to invade our village. I don't want to die out here. You've got to help me. Injured? Injured? What does that matter? Everyone's dead. I think... I think I'm the only one left. Survivors. I'm not all alone. Oh, thank the eight. I have to get to the mill and see who else is still alive. Perhaps I was too quick to pass judgment on you. These people, including my sister Olina, owe you their lives. The remaining fire should burn out soon. You did what you could, but the forest's rage has ravaged this village. It's terrible, for sure. But a small part of me is thankful that these saws won't operate again. My sisters and I should be able to open a path to safety, but we'll need your help again to make this work.
I mourn the creatures you were forced to kill. They usually aren't so aggressive. May the essence of Aetherius protect us all. Now please, stand back. I must perform the ritual of wording. Oh, I hope this works. There. I think that's done it. Come with me. Good. It worked. That's a perfectly fine ward, if I do say so myself. That ward will buy us some time. Now we have to figure out what to do next. Agreed. The mill is safe for now, but we need to get the villagers out of here. My sister Johanna has a plan to help the villagers, but we need your assistance. If you're willing to help us, please talk to her. There's one last thing we need you to do. My sisters and I should be able to open a path to safety. But we'll need your help again to make this work. We can travel along the roots of the Weird Tree. That's how we were able to get here so quickly. But there's some kind of corruption in the soil and now that path is blocked to us. The roots need to be nourished with pure energy. Nothing is more pure than life itself. We can use the life force of the creatures to nourish the roots of the Weird Tree. Kill one of the creatures near each root. Their life essences should provide the power we need to get the villagers out of here. Look for the roots of the weird around the mill. Remember that those creatures must give up their lives near the roots, or the roots won't absorb their life essences. Any creature you kill away from a root is a life extinguished for no reason. We're able to get all the villagers through the portal. They're safe in our camp for now. I should return to our camp and help protect the villagers. My sisters will continue to look into the madness that occurred here. Perhaps you could help them, if you have an interest. You have earned my respect, Stone Dweller. Thank you. Speak to Helene. There are still questions that require answers. <laughs> 